about the climate. Um, as Kathy said, things were done a wee bit different in the early days. Um, we weren't just climate, um, but we sort of evolved quite a bit now into the, into the weather aspect as well. So, And show you the instruments, show you how they work, have a bit of discussion about how we use them, what things can affect the measurements, and then do some hands-on stuff with, in groups of sort of three or four with the stations that are in front of you. Yeah, same with that. Yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, um, you can disconnect those and do it. Yeah. So, South Africa, these are So, you've got the white, green, grey, so white and yellow is one side of the bridge, green and grey the other side. So, the ones we've still got to cover are wind, uh, solar radiation, precipitation, and other. Soil moisture percentage. So that's what it's expressed as just a little bit. It's got the wiring on the inside. So it's treated horizontally and it weighs the water. So the output from this is not tipped. When you do the SDI reading, it gives you the amount of rainfall in millimetres. 120 watts direct is what your sunshine measurement is. Line okay. So it's using GPS to get the general location of the sun yeah. and then yeah. get the signal from there. Cool. Um, the Lycals are a micro amp output. So, so it's on, it's on uh, it's the trigger. So it's so DC. Uh, green. 2.9 meters a second. Yeah. And you see the output yeah. yeah. sometimes. Yeah, so that's one way. Yeah. yeah. So basically, measure the what the plan is is we, we've done the quiz. I just want to touch on freshwater health because I'm, I'm I'm trying to get us to sort of think a little bit differently about what we use as terminology. People don't really like to go swimming when there's lots of green filaments around their toes. So let's just go on to what the NAMS profile um, requirements are for the uh, QC six hundred. Mats are worth recording because they were at the bottom once, and when you get floating mats like that, then you've really got quite a, a pretty big growth problem. Um, mats and filaments, many filaments. Um, now, this is um, microcolius or chlamydium, which you'd probably all be familiar with. I guess thinking too that about the water quality side of things, I mean, when you do your macro invertebrates, I'm quite open to it, you know, you've all been shown or not shown and told different things. Sure, because what, you, you know, what you're doing is nobody's checking that, right? But a lot of invertebrate sampling in New Zealand isn't the same kinds of rivers that you do. This is a nice run. I think you would you could do two transects here. Yeah. And yeah. say, because you don't want to be yeah, disturbed. Yeah, it's really interesting. Okay. I, I'm just, I've only been here. <laughs> Focus in front here. Green film. Yes, brown mat. Right. A bit of um, drag, but quite powerful. So if you've finished scrubbing mat, Retail. Come on, you lived all this morning. It's a mayfly. Stonefly, is it? Mayfly. Oh, yeah. So you place it down, you put your foot in front, and you're trying to keep kind of roughly within that square. So you just move using my foot, got a lot more power, and I've now got gravel. a whole lot of gravel in there. Yeah, just to kind of grab it and turn it inside out and front and that way. Because you don't want to lose any heavy um, invertebrates, things like snails or caddisflies that have the strong Yeah, that's a
fiber and the, the filament that comes from the filament? It's, it's, fi it's filamentous, yeah. yeah. It's filamentous, yeah. <laughs> I've been water gauging, but not. Um, now you've done your perfect assessment. <laughs> So just imagine the ball a little bit of green and pop into that. Yeah, that makes sense. And the films and mats is quite useful because there's quite a bit of an overlap between films and mats. Leaning down downstream, you've got uh, you've got the bow wave here, which is virtually always there unless the river's low, so it's hard to read. Plus, you see the, the levels here, one meter. We've got zero meters here, so it's negative. Here's a, this is a compound control, so we've got <coughs> low flow over here, we're going through a tiny wee notch when it's low. So, as you probably know, in an ideal world, the average velocity is at 0.6 down or 0.4 up from the bed. Obviously, you want to get rid of these spikes, so you can put in a series of points. So you've got an option to <laughs> climb the middle of your race, or just use a fit curve function on the other side. Yeah, so this is a block of 70, 80, 90, 100 years, so that's about 70. Okay, so fine sediment. Um, we know that uh, this is the photo from the already revealing. I said about the particle size, you know, uh, the increase on the particle size survey, they cannot respond very well. Uh, so another instrument is the laser diffraction, which... Solomon Islands uh, Station from memory, one of the... Uh, uh, water supply state uh, projects over there that are complex systems that we put together but they talk a bit about some of the stuff we do with drones here at Niwa and so why might you want to use drones in general? That is that we basically have two drones flying together and one flies upstream. Uh, I'll do a bit of a presentation on uh, some of the findings we've been getting. You can see we've improved, improved from 7982 across all the teams. And in comparison with the US, we use the same system. Red is more than 1.5%, which is what our target is. So all the SAPs are sitting in those two locations now. And that's the risk of that. And then we've got the two other main topics here, which climate, I don't think we've put much in yet, but Sam's going to be working in there. And hydrology, we're starting, I'm starting to fill it up with different things as well. So Brilliant. Right at the moment we only actually formally have sort of endorsed from our quality system perspective the water level and the, and the open channel which is the gauges. So yes Jarrah, it's a work management tool and a shoe tracking system. And the nice thing is it's linked in some so... Now that we've got Aquarius we've got some capability to do this twice so if you're looking at it from the outside you kind of go why have we got some... Okay, here we go. In a perfect world, it would be simple. It just go one way. It's got a written on it. The newer ones, it's a, it's a bit confusing because it doesn't say longer or data longer, but they only work one way. So it's probably as you expect. I mean, it's just a case of slipping the station. Um, it's not working all hours at the moment. It's fine. And just filling in, as you can probably imagine, most of it's fear and add it in, so you add all those in. I won't go through it just at the same time. But. So, Servo 123 is quite common for all sorts of servo forms. Uh, the councils are using this quite a little bit and have shared some with us. So, we've got two, two test uh, forms in here at the moment. This one we've been testing, which is uh, the biannual inspection, or BASIS as you call it.